Hello and a warm welcome here to the Firefly Garden Fairy Workshop Materials Walkthrough In this video I'm just like super briefly going to go over the materials you can gather and use for following along in this beautiful Enchanted Garden Spirit Workshop and you can just be inspired from that and just gather the materials you have, tweak it to your own liking, your own belongings of art materials and just go with the flow. So I'll just walk through this super briefly so it's easy for you to follow along in this video. So in the beginning um, I just wanted you to know that I'm working on Kansong XL watercolor paper 300 GMS. It's just an average watercolor paper that has a like kind of a little bit of fine grain and I just invite you to use the watercolor paper you have. I am doing the initial drawing on the watercolor paper with a little bit of tracing. So I printed out the reference on a cheap copy paper paper type and put some graphite on the background and we use that to um, to open the ball kind of and you can just do whatever you want in the beginning to get your drawing onto the page but that's what I did and then I refined the drawing with just some average graphite uh, mechanical pencils so and uh, as far as I remember <laughs> I just came out of uh, doing the workshop I also used a little bit of normal pencil I use these clutch pencils but that would be the same as any good old regular pencil and it's just HB or F, some, something around that middle hardness. And that's it. And also it can be nice to have a little bit of erasers or eraser sticks to adjust your drawings, your drawing lines and um, refine. So I used a little bit of the Mono Zero Tombow eraser and I also sometimes use my perfection pen 7058 from Faber Castell. So that's just some average stuff and a little bit of kneaded eraser. Mine is from Faber Castell. I like that one. All right and then um, in the painting process this is very much a watercolor painting. We splashed on a lot of uh, painterly watercolor and the colors are used pretty simple and comes from my basic watercolor set which is very versatile and the colors I always mix with. So what I used is, um, well in fact one of them is not printed or like painted here but let's just go over them. Anyways, so I used um, titanium white, right? Just a good old titanium white and raw sienna, yellow ochre and burnt sienna, that's my browns, just some basic stuff. You can just have one or the other of these two. I use them both and mix them a little bit. And uh, I also used, let me see, I used a little bit of Hansa yellow. That's just a good old uh, medium yellow, just any good yellow would do. Doesn't really matter if it's this one, just any good yellow, uh, like average yellow. But mine is Hansa yellow light, PY, that means pigment yellow number three. And then I ended up using a vermilion pigment, a, a, like a very uh, straight red pigment. I am moving away from using the one I have used for years, which is the cadmium red light genuine. I'm moving towards using um, another one. I need to make a sample of it here. Uh, that is a vermilion type um, warm red. And that's what I end up using in this lesson, but you can use any red that you have, like bright um, kind of warm red in this category of red. That's what I used. And then uh, I use central to the mixing I'm doing in this lesson, um, the Taylor green, that's this one. Um, it's called PG7, pigment green number seven. You can find that with very, very fine print, these small numbers on the sides of different watercolor brands. The, the numbers can vary, you know, the, what can we say, the serial number from this or that brand. But these numbers are the technical color codes. So, but this is, yeah, some numbers that can be found on any good brand on the sides with super small print but don't worry about that too much if you think it's too much but it's a tailor green 
you know this type of bright green. We mix in it the workshop to get all these beautiful green tones. Um, so it doesn't matter if it's the Taylor green, uh, blue shade or green shade or yellow shade or whatever they call it. They are a little bit different, but just any good um, Taylor green shade or Taylor green. Sometimes you find it as emerald green or whatever, but just go a little bit by the color. I think that's kind of it. Um, I think that's all the colors I ended up using. So it's a pretty easy and straightforward color mixing scheme. And I'll show you a lot of mixing greens and um, mixing across um, the color wheel for beautiful and balanced and uh, bright greens and muted greens, dark greens, light greens. So we mix across the, the color wheel here from red to green and also branch out a little bit to the yellow side to get more bright yellow greens. All right, and um, let's see for the pen pastels. Um, I end up using in this one, my good old Jean Davenport birthday suit palette. I think the only one I used was actually the red one here for the cheeks. So it's just very, very little I used. So it's just a minor, minor thing. And then it's, in this one, I show you how I actually use um, makeup powder for the pen pastel part of her skin. I just bought a set of Rimmels. Uh, it's just a cheap $10 uh, powder. And I talk in the workshop about why this is absolutely uh, good to go and safe for your painting. It's the same pigments that are in your watercolor box, in your color pencils, whatever. In these three, uh, we go over this in the lesson. The pigments that are actually in them is some of the browns, iron red oxides, they're called red, I like iron oxides, it's the brown tones. It's uh, titanium white and the good old ultramarine, that's what's in them. And the binders are pretty much the same as in the pastel sets, like pan pastels. If you have pan pastels in some good tones, you can also use that, whatever. I'm showing you a little bit of this and a little bit of that so you can adjust. But one uh, pan pastel that I always come back to is the titanium white. That's a good one. And it's, I don't think I've seen any other um, pastel white, pen pastel white that can compete with this. So yeah, just um, go with the flow and gather your materials, whatever you have. The base of this is definitely the watercolors, by the way. All right, and then uh, we ended up using a few um, waterproof color pencils. I have them over here. So let's go over those quickly. So that would be, I used a little bit of the white one, a little bit of the ivory, a little bit of the cream, a little bit of the Pompeian red, cinnamon, nougat, and um, let's see, one of them has disappeared. Um, yeah, a um, little bit of the dark sepia. And these three also just a little bit, mostly um, I use the skin tones and the nougat, the dark sepia, something like this. So you can just adjust and be inspired from that. And also I used a little bit of Pasca pen. I think I ended up using the big one, the PC5M for a little bit of dots and also the smaller one, the PC1MR, this one. Also for a little bit of dots. Yeah, that's kind of it. So that was a super beautiful and fun project to work with. And I'm really, really looking forward to, to paint this with you. So be inspired, gather the materials that you have, maybe add a little bit, adjust a little bit, and I'm sure you will make a beautiful painting. So let's get going. I'll see you in the lesson. Bye-bye.